Hey guys, I think I am good to go. I think I'm live. Yeah, I think. Just let me know if you can hear and um, see me okay. It's too hot, so I'm in my vest top. Um, hi Jo. How are you? How's the kitten? How's the little bubba? Um, right, I need to edit the title on TikTok um, since the Ocelot tutorial. Okay, that's ready to rock and roll. Hi Gary. Emily, can we just leave him alone? It's too hot. I know, oh, I didn't realise you even had him. No. Sorry, they are just spitting the guinea pigs back. I didn't even realise they had them out. Hi, Ambo. Right, we give it another couple of minutes. Hey, Mum. Not got a kitten yet. Oh, okay. In it hot. Yeah, it's really hot. So I am wearing a vest top, by the way. Um, yeah. Um, you all right, Mum? Did you see my octopus? Uh, I'm going to give it till, what are we now? Till five past and then I'm just going to crack on. And then if anybody needs to rewind, that's five minutes people have had to get on and then I'll go live on TikTok as well. I tell you, you can all hear me okay? I'm assuming you can as, yeah, Joe's replied, Gary's replied, so it's fine. My super duper beautiful colour changing light, look at that. Isn't that nice? Now the kids have promised me that they're not going to disturb me. Mm-hmm, we shall see. Um, okay, let's let's crack on. I'm gonna go live now on TikTok. So, if anybody wants to mod over there, just go for it. Um, I have, however, tidied up a load of my pencils, so I'm not entirely sure what I've put away with regards to what I need. So, I may end up saying some colors, um that I haven't necessarily used, so please forgive me. Um, yeah, we're okay. Plodding on as always. Just getting all the greys out because I can't remember. And to be perfectly honest, you don't need to be precise to the colours that I'm using anyway, so it's entirely up to you. Um, Right, we're almost five past, aren't we? So I think I might just get on with it. Are you ready to get on? Ready to continue? Give us a thumbs up if you are, and then uh, I'll get cracking. so slow on youtube <laughs> so slow i need my reference actually that would be handy wouldn't it why does that come up oh damn it where's my reference downloads 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 where's my downloads folder gone Have you done the first bit? I haven't had much of a chance to be on Facebook at all, actually. Um, I was literally, from the minute I got up yesterday, I was working until 11pm, and then I had to go hoover and rescue the house. So I was hoovering at 11pm. 
Um, so I haven't really had a chance to catch up with everybody yet. Um, oh, sort by date. I can't find my reference. Damn it. There. Whew. Right. Let's bring you over here because I don't need to see that. References is there. You are there. Okay. Right, let's crack on then. I cannot remember the order I did anything in last week. So if the order varies, it's going to. Because this is half the reason why I have to finish a portrait when I start it. Um, because um, I'm one of those that just has to continue on. Otherwise, I forget. And I really do forget. Um, so I am really genuinely probably going to forget in what order I've done things um, including the colours I've used actually oh, let's just go for it shall we can't seem to find oh, there's one Oh, there it is. I think that's the one we used as the undercolour, wasn't it? Raw Rumba, if anyone remembers, because I really don't. I'm using your reference, can't jump between you and the PC and drawing. Oh, okay, that's fine. It's not a problem at all. Um, If you guys on TikTok are not getting a response from me, that is because this is a live tutorial which means that I am, um, one, I don't do shout outs anyway, but hi to everyone if I have missed you. But because this is a live tutorial, um, I don't wanna miss any questions with regards to drawing techniques and tutorial techniques. If you wanna watch this later on, it is always stored on my YouTube channel. So you can head over to the YouTube channel and either watch there or you can rewind and watch back at a later date. It's not a problem at all, it will always be there. Um, just go under the live section. So I think we're going to work on this side of the face today. Or actually, do you want to do this portion or do you want to tackle the bridge and the nose? Let me know. Bridge and nose or ear section? It's a bit dark. All right. If I turn the ISO up, it's going to look out of focus. That's the only thing. How's that? It's really annoying because I can't have the overheads on. Nose, nose, nose. Loads of people have said nose on TikTok. Hi, Leslie. Um, should we go for the nose then? I know a few of you last week on YouTube said about doing the nose. Hi, Erica. It just looks a bit washed out on YouTube, okay? So if you are watching this on YouTube, because I've had to brighten the ISO, it has washed it out slightly, okay? I think if I adjust anything else, it's just... It's, oh, that's a tiny bit better. Let me know if that's a problem. Nose. Okay, right, we'll start with the nose then. So I need to get the paper in position, get the camera in position. I may end up headbutting the camera, to be honest. Are we okay on TikTok? So I'm dual feeding over on YouTube as well as here, okay? Right, I think, to be honest with the nose, we're gonna start with our cream. So we're gonna get a light layer of cream down, a very light layer. If you're one of those that tends to push too hard on their pencils, just make sure that your fingers are at least halfway up your pencil. Um, and then that way you physically cannot put too much force down. So if you find that it was burnt ochre, yeah. Um, if you find, hang on, I'm missing all the, come on. I don't know where to put my pad, my stand's in the other room. 
so annoying. That'll have to do. But because part of the reason why I decided to go in with the cream first is because if you look at the size of the hairs on the nose, they're so much smaller. If you guys on TikTok want to see the reference, if you head over to my YouTube channel, you'll see the reference and all the download information is there anyway if you want to have a go. But because the details on the nose, the fur is so much shorter on the nose, we need to go as light as possible first, really. So that's why I'm going in with the cream on the nose rather than any other colour because I'm not going to do too many layers of solid colour on the nose because we still want to build the fur up but we, we don't want it too dark too quick. So I'm just going to get a couple of layers down just to build that up. And then I think looking at the colour, reference is really the wrong side. I personally think we're going to do a bit with the raw umber first. Nice sharp pencil because the fur is so short. So nice and sharp. And if you snap your lead, then you are going, again, you're going too hard on your pressure. You need to lighten your pressure a bit. So what you're going to observe is about at the bottom section of his eye here, you'll see that the ner nerves, nose fur direction changes, if I can get in close enough. So what happens is, is when you look at a, a cat's nose straight on, it does happen with dog noses as well. So say that's the middle of the nose and your eyes are here. The fur direction comes up towards the middle from the eyes and then as you go down towards the face they come around and then they end up coming down into the nose. So this is the shape you're looking for when you're doing fur on the nose. So it goes up like that into the middle and then as you come across, it starts to then peter down towards the nose or the tip of the nose. So that's the sort of pattern, the fur direction that you're looking for. Does that make sense? Uh, the sharpener I use is called a Tihu. Let me show you very quickly. For the guys on TikTok, it's a Tihu. It doesn't fit the um luminance though which is really really annoying um but it does give a beautiful sharp point quickly so it saves having to use the hand crank ones when you're doing your tutorials hi michelle vancouver canada that's so cool okay so that is what we're working towards that shape so it changes here this is where it changes from what i can see on my reference so the first thing I'm going to do is start from this section. I wouldn't normally do it this way, but I'm doing it this way now to teach you the easiest way to get your head around it, basically. Um, and we're just going to do the outwards. Just pencil in our outwards and then down and then up. So we've just put in a reminder. Thank you for my gift, whoever that was. I didn't see it. Sorry. Pippa. Thank you, Pippa. And then on the other side, we can do the same again. And then we'll do a little bit of a, a join up in the middle. And then if you want, you can leave a little gap and you can just come up with some really, really tiny, fine strokes in the middle. And then we just join them up. But as long as they sort of meet in the middle, that gives you the rough pattern that you need. And then you start coming down until you hit that nose. I don't know if that's too, that might be a bit too light for you guys on YouTube. Let me go a bit darker. Like so. So all you're going to do is, as we've mentioned before, keep the 
strokes really small but cross them over so if you need a reminder of what I mean by that I'm going to show you with a darker pencil so you can see that's what I'm struggling with on my dog drawing that really helps cool okay so remember for nose hair say for example we're doing body hair or head hair you're looking at sort of roughly that sort of length but it varies on subject when you come to doing nose hair you're looking at sometimes as short as that it's that's for my tiktok guys sometimes it's as short as that okay but what you don't want to do is do these little straight soldiers like i've done here because it just looks too false so as i mentioned last week you want to crisscross your hairs like so and then when you come to do the next section we don't start from the bottom we start halfway up the previous section and then again halfway up like so and that gives you a much more blended fur look okay so when we come to doing the teeny tinies on here we can do exactly the same we just alter the direction and just use your thumb and finger just to adjust the direction and again you come slightly in from the layer before and then that way you get this cute little build up of tiny little hairs okay hopefully that all makes sense so that is what we're going to be doing on here so i'm starting off with the lighter colors because i want to build those colors up so i'm just going to continue to add those in just being wary of the direction that that fur is going that's as in there we go that's a little bit more in focus so again we're going to just come up from the nose and the same sort of happens in this little inner bit here it changes so we go from say from this section think of it as a clock we are going to go from 7 p.m up to 11 p.m and then as we come up we change from six to nine and then we start to meet the same line that we have here okay does that make sense so when you come to do this bit here we would go in the opposite direction so we start at seven again but we come down to sort of like five o'clock and then we start twisting it around a little bit more until we meet the direction in the fur next to it so that's roughly the direction that you need to go so again i'm going to keep coming up You can be sparse or loads it just you have to check your individual reference so the one we're working on he's got um he's got quite a lot going on on his nose um so noses are a patience game i'm afraid there is no short way around doing it so i'm just crossing again if i need to So the colour I have in my hand, I did say I think is raw umber. You're just going to keep going ahead. Sorry, there's no music um, uh, like normal, but I can't have music on when I'm dual feeding over on YouTube. Okay, so we're just going to keep following the shape of the hairs around. And then as we get to near this section our hair is very much sort of pointing north so we want to be going roughly um what would it be it would be about four o'clock up to twelve o'clock as you come round five o'clock to twelve o'clock i would say actually And 
and you can get a little bit longer as you come up to these hairs because we're becoming less on the nose and more on the the forehead but again just check your reference but the method is pretty much the same on on most animals okay so that's what it should be looking at at the moment so how's yours looking we're looking roughly the same hopefully if you're joining in at the same time hi to everybody on tiktok sorry um i'm not answering questions very well it's difficult to try and keep up with doing two different live feeds Right, so the next one we are going to go in with is going to be, I think we're going to go in actually with the walnut. About after. Okay, Dan, um, one thing I want you to do, and this is to anybody actually who is, I want you to try and keep up with my pace because the reason being is that when we sit here really slowly we're too methodical and fur is not methodical and nor is hair this pace unless you're physically unable which i completely understand but this pace means that you're going to end up being too precise you just need to loosen up and let your fingers do all the work don't do it from the wrist do it from the fingers and just literally as quick as you can if you need to keep a gap in between just put a larger space in between but this is the pace in my opinion that i think you would get the most natural looking so if you can speed up a little bit it makes things that bit more imperfect so it just gives it much more of a realistic look that's what i think anyway so with that in mind we're just going to repeat the process that we've done on the previous layer with the darker color so i'm going in with walnut brown now okay teeny tiny Just again, be conscious of the direction of the fur. If you don't have a sharp pencil, it won't be as effective. You really, really need a nice sharp pencil. microphone a bit closer a bit of a bit pencil ASMR going on so we're just going to keep going again being conscious of the direction you can see we're only three layers in and he's already getting some depth to his fur so if you want to join in this tutorial you don't have to follow exact um while i'm working the videos will be stored on youtube underneath the live feeds section so if you want to have a go, head over to the live feed sections at any time. There's last week's, which was the beginning part. Um, and all the resources that you need, including the coloured pencils that I'm using, you can download from my website under the blog section. But there is a link in the YouTube um, video to take you directly there. But we're just going to keep going. We're going to start meeting up in the middle here. Thank you. 
thank you for my gift i saw something fly up but i i don't know who that was um so i apologize but thank you you guys are so generous on tiktok honestly how's everybody been in this heat by the way it's been so warm today hasn't it it's nice and cool in the den this evening now bit of a breeze I mean, this, this is literally drawing every hair. Every hair. But it's worth it. And it will look even better once we start getting the fur in this section done and we push it through the nose as well because we'll get all the tiny, tiny little... I imagine you are, especially in all that um, you PP stuff. Okay, now we're going to come round, do the other side. We're going to twist it round. So we'll be going roughly 7 o'clock over to 2 o'clock, I think that roughly is, until we meet in the middle here. Just turn your pencil every few seconds and then you get a nice fine point each time. Okay. How are we doing? Yeah, I, I don't envy. I do really feel for you guys that have to work in this with all your PPE and stuff. So look how much texture his nose has got and we're only three layers in. We're going to be doing at least another two or three layers yet. somewhat fairy looking <laughs> well that's what we want to. we want to be aiming for somewhat fairy looking so we're doing all right we're doing all right um okay now i'm just checking he's a little bit pinky reddish near the end of his nose so i think i'm gonna grab the cap of morton violet so we're gonna be working with the cap of morton violet i'm just gonna turn you slightly on tiktok so i just whacked my microphone I'm trying to give everybody the best view possible but it's not always easy i'm gonna need a drink okay cap at morton violet nice and sharp and then again, it doesn't matter whether you start from top or bottom. I don't know why I prefer to start from the bottom, but this is, if you look at the reference, this is the section that's slightly redder than the rest. So that's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna go any higher than, he's got a dark patch here, so we're not really gonna go any higher than that patch. So we're gonna start from the nose. And we're gonna just repeat the process. I need to bring that fur around a bit more on mine. That's better. So I'm gonna stop roughly here. come on to the other side and in reality you don't have to be exact to the reference just use the reference as a guide that's all, all it's there for He's 
actually got quite strange it sort of curls in one way but not the other so he's got quite unusual fur in that sense okay um what i want you to do if you don't have a titanium buff or a buff titanium i never remember which way around it is um i would use a cream but don't go heavy and what we're going to do is we're just going to glaze over the top um because we want them to look like they're just a bit lower so i'm just going to blend and glaze at the same time and you should see it all soften and i'm going to go up and down because i'm going quite lightly i'm not going to disturb the direction of the fur so we're just going to glaze just going to gently blend it all like so so that's roughly what we should be looking at and then i think we are going to go in with the dark sepia next okay how are we doing on youtube guys Bless you. Thank you for my roses. Okay, let's just get some dark sepia. Don't go everywhere with the dark sepia. You know, when I said about spacing earlier, you want to just sort of space it roughly like this but keep them in different directions don't space it like that that's just the wrong way to do it you've got to space it so each one just sits in a bit of a different direction okay It needs to be darker in a certain section just put more in where it's lighter just put less in so he's got a little dark patch there so we can put in a few quite close together Cheryl, my lovely, are you still on TikTok? If you are, would you mind moderating for me tonight? My commission, commission request, I can't talk today. My commission request forms are in the link in my bio on TikTok. Oh, I can't, I've got too many, haven't I? Damn it okay ignore that okay so yeah we should be looking something like this so i'm just going to finish off the other side of the nose I could go even further into depth but i think to be honest um i want to keep it fairly simple but with you know really good results so it's not so overwhelming to begin with i'm going to actually color in this section now where it's dark just so i don't lose that patch I don't know whether I can or whether you need to be there. 
It's not too bad at the moment, to be honest. So I wouldn't worry about modding it at the moment. Anybody, it's not too bad. So I'm just um, possibly missing questions, that's all. From this dark section, now we've blocked it in, all you want to do is come from the dark section into the light section and just pull out some darker hairs. Again, they don't need to be very big. And then we come around. And out into this bit. Okay, I'm going to grab my dark indigo. And I'm just going to darken the centre, not the edge. So I'm literally just making it darker in the centre. And then I'm going to go over again with the dark sepia. Again in the centre. And then I'm going to go in again with the dark indigo in the very centre of that. So it should start to give you a little bit of depth. With the dark indigo, I'm just going to do a couple of hairs coming out, not many. And then I want to do a few dark ones up through the nose. Um, if you can get hold of them, I would get Polychromos every time. I do think they're one of the best brands available when it comes to colouring pencils. Um, again, so I'm just really going to put these in some of the darkest sections. So dark indigo. And I think, to be honest, we're practically there. What I might do is just glaze this section here very lightly, and I do mean very lightly, with some dark indigo. Just to change that tone up a little bit, just in that patch. So when we talk about glazing with colouring pencils... Uh, polychromos should be available worldwide so i honestly do recommend getting polychromos wherever you can get them they are one of the best brands and they do hold up especially in hot weather as well so when you glaze i'm going to glaze over this section so you can see it so you can see the color and maybe if i just want to make this slightly tonally different but i don't want it to be really dark like this so i'm literally my fingers are at the end of my pencil okay and all I'm going to do is tip it like a 45 degree angle and then I'm just going to glaze over the top and put an extremely light layer over it. And it changes the tonal value, which you can see between the two there. Okay. What I am going to do is grab my white luminance. And this section here just needs lightening up. So I'm just going to do some little hairs with the white luminance. I'm not too fast, but I just want to get it a tiny bit lighter. There we go. Okay. I'm gonna say soz and I know it's wrong and I know that I actually went tried my best to find out how to pronounce suz suz completely wrong don't be offended I love you you know that but thank you very much for that comment I really really appreciate 
yeah it's a tutorial first blown tutorial well not first blown full blown tutorial i should say okay so hopefully those who are drawing together we should be sort of at this similar stage in fact what i might do is just pull some of these dark hairs up a little bit more into his forehead like so there we go okay let's do the nose next then um on this particular one he doesn't have much in the way of sticky out nose um but the way to do it is to get all the darker patches on the nose done first and pull the darker patches up into the hair and what i mean by that is again if i show you this for example let's say that's the hair i'm just doing this very quickly and very roughly and say that's the nose section there when you come to color the nose in rather than coloring it in in a straight line like this you would actually bring some of that up into the hair section so you'd almost draw fur in the opposite direction and then you'd blend that all in and then eventually it looks like the fur is crossing over you can of course use a slice tool later on but it's easier to get it in first to be honest okay so that's what we're going to do here so he's quite warm underneath so he's got a fairly light patch this side so a nice light layer of dark sepia I'll blend a little bit over this section by the looks of it I need to darken a little bit more up here as well because there's no definition there we go okay so we're going to pull up tiny little hairs into the fur section and then we can just the one way to do a nose is to work in circles like this or just random squiggles like that and then when you come to colouring it in, you sort of colour around the circles and then you can fill in ones that don't need to be there and leave ones plain that do need to be there. Then that way that just creates little natural highlights. Um, but on his, I can't zoom in very well. So for the sake of my sanity, we're not going to put much detail in there. But I am going to do a few little circles. Just around, just to give it a little bit of texture. You're going to blend out either use a cream or the buff titanium i'm going to use a buff titanium and i'm just going to blend and then we'll work on putting some more circles in where the darkest sections are And then I'm going to go in with my dark indigo. Yeah, all pencils. Hey, Will. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so again, we're just going to darken up the little top section there. Just where it's a little bit darker if you are feeling that it's too um dark or um it's not quite bright enough whatever the word is i'm trying to look for you can just get a little kneaded eraser and just lift a little bit out if needed i'm quite happy with mine but if you want to now by the looks of it he's got quite a prominent line down here which i'm just going to put in so you can put a bit more pressure down on that bit 
and then we've got little bits that come out tiny little dots that come out thank you thank you for my gift whoever that was shape shake gamer thank you okay so yeah we're just going to do some little dots that come out not many i think it's got like two there too dark as if <laughs> never know erica it's gonna happen one day it's gonna happen um and i would continue by the looks of the reference to bring the little dark patches around okay so it's got a little cute pink and i do mean pink nose so we are going to go where is it my cinnamon's gone missing not good it's not good ah i forgot i put pencils in here found the other pencils guys ha ha see this is why i can't work on more than one portrait at a time cinnamon right grab your cinnamon and let's get some uh, cinnamon over cinnamon is more of a uh, toned pink and we want to add some real redness real pinkness whatever you want to call it so I can't remember if I put it on the list but we're going to need probably the violet actually let's grab the light magenta I'm going to grab the light magenta That will be enough for the top. Yeah. There we go. Um, I am dual feeding over on YouTube at the same time. So I apologise if I am missing comments in TikTok. Um, it's difficult to look and draw at the same time. Um, so I promise I'm not ignoring you. But also because this is a full-blown tutorial, it's difficult to mix the both up. So light magenta is added to the list. So if you're watching this through before you start the tutorial, light magenta. Okay. Then get your buff titanium and blend over the whole thing. Don't worry about smudging your spots it's not a problem it makes them look that little bit more natural now what you want to do to be able to give it that shape you want it to give it the shape where it goes down and then down this section at the front here is the section that needs to be the darkest which is why you've got the light on the top there so i'm thinking we can actually let's get another layer of that and i don't think it's going to go dark enough to be honest uh, the inspiration for this one is actually gary so blame gary um but i had agreed a little while ago that i was going to do um an animal tutorial based around big cats basically because they are quite quite a nice thing to draw and quite a um a common thing to draw um i can't find my pink madder lake either that's gone walkabout pink madder lake found it um so we're going to go pink madder lake on the front section or the flat section and it's not going to be bright pink so don't expect loads of pink to go down because we've done lots of blending But again, it's just enough to change it tonally. Brush, 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 brush. Okay, so dark sepia. And the 
there's a few little bits that come out into the pink area on this side of his nose so I'm very lightly and because we've gone over with the luminance we're not going to get a huge amount of color down so it works to your advantage because it means that you can't go too dark but we're just going to pull some of those details out Then we're going to draw that middle section in and very lightly come up a little bit into that top section but I, I do mean lightly and again that helps define that shape so looking at that I could probably bring my pink matter lake a bit further up like that and then we're going to fill in the dark sections down the bottom here and we're going to just use a few spots to help it ombre up A couple of spots either side of that bit up the nose. Then we're going to grab our Caput Morton Violet. I'm going to go down the middle and that will just bring some redness to it. And we're just very gently going to bring some out. And I do mean gently, so go nice and light. I think that's probably it for that particular section. Oh, actually, looking at that, while I've got the Pink Matter Lake, he's got a little pink section here. That's already been brought up, so I don't need to do any more on that note. Just blend that out, cinnamon a little bit more. There we go. Okay, so again, we've got dark sepia in my hand and we're lightly going to fill this section in here. I'm going over the nostril area. I'm just going to fill that in. Again, notice how far up the pencil my hand is. I've given up even trying to get mine to bed. They're upstairs watching TV now. I'm going to be finishing at 10 anyway, so I might as well just let them. It's too hot to sleep. Again, we're just going to go up into the first section. Apologies, you're going to be able to hear the neighbour's dogs now. And then we just keep layering up. To make certain sections darker again you could just pop some little spots out into the pink I've got some little bits that come out here too And underneath, it sort of lines the bottom of his nose. Okay, so his nostril pretty much comes all the way up to here. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to do the nostril first, because the nostril, the dark 
the darkness in the nostril which you know is the darkest section of the nose will guide you to how dark you need to be on the edge of the nose so if you get that bit done first it will help you to decipher whether you need to go any more darker you can't go lighter than white so if you're finding that you're not light enough it's more likely that you're not going dark enough so i'm just going to fill that whole section in And that always comes up, if you look at cat's noses, always comes up to the tip. Just there. He's got quite a bit that comes right round. And then that darkest section comes right up to here. So I draw and I do portraits, but for some reason colour. Do you do it in graphite? So I'm just going to put another layer down. And then we're going to grab our... Uh, blah, 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 what's the word? Dark indigo. And then we're going to go in again. And normally the darkest bit is under this section and it gets lighter the more you come down to where the nostril actually goes up into it. So we're going to draw all our darkest sections in. Dark sepia again. Dark indigo again. And we can just use the spots and a little bit of rough texture just to blend that out into the pink section of his nose. And then that should give you the illusion of it going back. There is a tiny bit, so I'm just going to grab my buff titanium. There's a tiny bit that sits underneath, so I'm going to blend that pink out and very gently come underneath. And then I'm going to refine that shape. Like that. Hi, Ben. Okay. Back to dark sepia. And quite honestly, I'm probably going to spot it on this section because this section's got more detail than the other side had. So just use like a dotting technique. This section is much more solid so I can come in and actually colour. I'm going to grab my dark indigo and the closest section to the nose it's darker so I'm going to come in with the dark indigo where it comes up into the fur and just darken that section How are we doing so far? What are you struggling with, Dan? Just 
I'm gonna grab my cap and autumn violet. It just needs to be a little bit darker in this section. If you just want to watch tonight, Dan, just watch. Take any pressure off you doing the tutorial. Dark sepia. That's the joy of it being on the YouTube. You can come back at any time. You don't have to get it done today. Okay, why why are you getting mad with yourself? We're not looking for perfection. We're looking for technique. Once you get the hang of the technique, then the progress will just happen. So just take all pressure off yourself, honestly. Don't be so hard on yourself, young man. I am going to blend this section with the buff titanium. Not too hard, just go gentle. It's just going to blend some of those dots in and then I can see where I need to go a bit darker. can't keep up I need more practice plus looking for colors I don't have doesn't help oh, okay you don't have to use these colors specifically you can do a rainbow one for all I care again we're not concentrating on precision on color it's more the technique so it doesn't matter what color you have I don't care if it's green and blue I really don't um, it really really is about technique not the final not the final colouring so please don't stress about it please 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 I don't want to make you feel like you can't achieve this I want to make this as simple as possible and I'm aware I do work quite fast but if I don't work at my natural pace then I tend to hiccup quite a lot and I can't can't work at it if that makes sense um so yeah just just take the pressure off okay You can come back at any time. Just darkening again the section with dark sepia. If and when I resume doing the group sessions in, in a hall and things like that, then I thought you had to go and stamp the grapes yourself. Oh, we're talking about wine. <laughs> okay if any of the people on tiktok do want to join in on this tutorial you can go to my youtube channel and all the information is in the description and all the links to all the information is in the description or it's on my website um the link is in my bio and go under the blog section and it's in there okay right so we've got an hour left Let's work on and around his little mouth section, which you'll notice is actually quite light. So I'm going to show you how white fur is not white. I need to move the microphone. Sorry for all the noises. times like this I'm glad I don't drink to be honest oh bless you stop being so hard on yourself Dan honestly okay right so we'll work on this left section first first thing you want to do is get rid of some of your lines oh I can't erase left-handed that's strange Worst of it off with that, and then I'm going to go in with 
with the Tombow because I've done mine in Caput Mortem. I just want to lift as much as I can. Right, we're quite cold in that area, so the first thing we're going to do is just put a layering down of cold grey one. Okay, so cold grey one. I'm just going to use that to fill the shape in. And then we're going to work our way up through the greys essentially um, because it's not too dark on that side so I think we're going to hop straight in and do cold grey four nice sharp point hi Georgina okay nice sharp point again And then we're slightly longer on the fur, but not much. So we're just going to put some fur direction. We're going roughly from, I think, like 7 p.m. to 2 p.m. Or it doesn't necessarily mean a.m. or p.m. 7 till 2, if you're thinking of a clock face. can put the odd little hair coming out but he's quite neat and tidy around his mouth so we don't want to distract too much from that right then you're going to want to grab your white You don't really want to add any buff titanium it needs to be white ideally uh hi queen marie this is an actual tutorial that i am doing right now if you want to see it from last week which is when it started just hop over to my youtube channel at any time and look under the lives section and you can follow along with the tutorial that we've done so far i'll be finishing at 10 today so there's that'll be four hours in total um so for this specific one just hop to the youtube and all the details are there okay so i'm now just going to go and blend in the same direction as the fur with white And I am now going to move up to, I might actually move, I put Payne's Grey on the list, didn't I? Pretty sure that's Payne's Grey, yeah. Um, so I'm going with the Payne's Grey and I'm only going to do where the darkest areas are. so and you want to come round very slightly because where his whiskers dig in you normally get a bit of shadow there okay I'm going to get my cold grey one and just the section we've done no other section just the section we've done we are going to blend just over that darkest put a little bit of pressure on and we're just going to blend over now he has got very white whiskers there's no getting around that you're not going to be able to draw white on white simple fact so what i personally would do is get the either the highest grade 
graphite pencil you have um, in the H's. So I would probably look at using a 4H or a 5H. You want it really um, light, as light as possible. Or if you want to, in my case, just so you can see it for the tutorial, I'm going to use my cold grey 4. Um, and all I'm going to do is, again, you want to be pretty quick. You just want to flick a couple of whiskers here and there. And then we've got some longer ones. But I'm not putting a lot of pressure on because I don't want them to be dark. Okay. Just to give him a bit of... Well, he needs whiskers. Full stop. He needs whiskers. Oh, bless you, Dan. Thank you. Are you moderating for me? <laughs> bless you. Okay. So that's that side done. What we're going to do now is work on the little bit underneath here and then his chin well, I'm debating whether I should start on this bit let's do these two bits okay so I think looking at that you can pretty much go straight in with dark indigo and just fill that section in because the whole section is dark I'm going to put a layer of Payne's Grey. A layer of dark indigo. You know it's the one colour I haven't brought out yet. Payne's Grey. And a final one of Dark Indigo. And then what we're going to do with this one is push or pull or whatever way you find it easier up into the mouth section. And that's going to help create the little fine furs that go into the mouth. And you can do the same with your dark sepia. So underneath here, he's quite fleshy coloured. So you can see little individual spots where his whiskers, his chin whiskers are. So I'm going to put those in because I don't want to cover the whole thing in cinnamon but I'm going to pick those out and then all of the side of his mouth colour with cinnamon I've put the whiskers in so you can see them more visually um, I'm not too bothered about them not being white um, but I've used them um, doing uh, using cold grey four. Okay, so cold grey one. Oh, hang on, I need to get rid of my sketch line. grey one cold grey four We can be a little bit longer on the chin. And again, observe the direction. Okay. 
And then we're going to come all the way Um, why is, what's the matter? May I have a Google cuddle? For five minutes. Put an Alexa on timer, please, for five minutes. She? she should be plugged in. You can come up into the little pink section of the mouth, it's not a problem, just don't do too much. Okay, and I'm going to grab my Payne's Grey next. So I can get more of a point on the end. Has the Kickstarter? Yes, it has. Oh, I hadn't even noticed actually. I think I, it had three hours left to go before um, the, the last time I checked. Um, so if it's all gone through, as soon as I get the pennies, I can put the order in, which means that they all come through. And I'm still designing the cards at the moment, so I need to get two or three finished. Then I can send them off and get them ordered. I think it is. At most, I've said it's no later than the middle of July that you'll get your badge, um, your key rings, fingers crossed. Okay, so I'm coming in with the paint's grey and we're just going to pick out some of the darkest hairs. They tend to get um, more clustered the closer you are to his lip. And if you look on your reference, they lighten as we come round. So I would actually be inclined in a moment we're going to go in with the Caput Mortem, I think. So while I've got my, I'm just going to do the whiskers, otherwise I will forget and then he'll just look silly. So let's just do the whiskers. Again, you don't have to be exact for the reference, just get some in, just don't go too crazy. I'm so excited, I'm, I'm just, I cannot thank all the people that supported my Kickstarter enough. This has been such a dream for me to do these key rings and the fact that I can order pin badges as well is just, nah, I can't wait. Um, and I think I'm gonna do another Kickstarter by the end of the year for all of the Opal series. So like the Octopus would make an amazing key ring. Um, so I'm hoping I can get that all done, but we'll see. Um, okay, so Caput Morton Violet. And we're going to do some dark hairs as we come up into that lip. But we're not going to come down too far. Just where that lip is. Just some little fur strokes. And then as we come down here, you'll see it's much darker. So we can just darken in there How much just these few whiskers upwards to remind ourselves that that needs to be there I was going to glaze over a little bit on the outer edge I'm going to grab my buff titanium and I'm going to blend the inner part, the lightest section of his lip. And then where it's desaturated, I'm just going to add a bit more colour again. Oh, 
where these little whisker patches are we can come in and just add a couple of little specks in there Just to darken those up. Then we're going to grab our cold grey four again. I've been excited for you to be honest. Oh, bless you! Thank you. The um, uh, the octopus has gone absolutely nuts on TikTok, like ridiculously nuts. I wasn't expecting it. Normally on um, a viral video, let's say for example six to fifteen thousand, I'll I'll get maybe three hundred comments. I haven't checked lately, but the last time I looked, it was almost at 3,000 comments. It's just mind-blowing, really. Absolutely mind-blowing. Um, if you want to join in on this tutorial, it is going to be saved. It's mainly for my TikTok um, people that are watching. Um, but all the live feeds, which I'm doing now on TikTok and YouTube, will be saved. So you can go back onto YouTube at any time, re-watch it um and then you are able to join in but there is a link in my bio um which takes you to all the tutorial information so you know please you know go if, join in if you want to um you can watch back at any time so dark gray four and we're just going to blend out where we've on the uh, cap at mortem so just going to blend that out a bit I'm going to come in with my cold grey one just sort of blend over that Again, the odd chin hair coming out and then I'm just going to refine the little mouth section in here clean that up a bit with the cinnamon I think it might need to be a little bit more pinker but I think I'm happy with it. So you judge by yours. But it's looking quite bitty and hairy and that's what you're after. Cold grey four. I'm just going to darken under here a little bit. I really have got my reference in the wrong place. I did see, but to be fair, you have worked so hard on them all. I, I have, haven't I? <laughs> um, I have actually been commissioned to do a glass rainbow skull. So I'll be doing that on the TikTok lives very, very soon. Hi, Matty. Um, okay, so what have we got? We've got half an hour left. So that's enough to start working on this section. Um, so the first thing we want to do is block in where our yellows are. So we're going to do that using, I think we're going to use our raw umber. Mm, it's going to look really, really cool. I've just got to find a decent reference, which I'm not finding so far. Okay, so uh, let me just lighten up. his punches okay and just very lightly going to block in where his gorgeous yellowness is. I 
you want to see the scallopers as a holographic print it is mind-blowing I love it oh bless you thank you for my uh, rose okay and then we've got a little bit here I think the main thing I'm going to concentrate on is actually the whisker patches um, because they're easier to do than they look. I think people worry a little bit because of the way that they look. Um, so maybe if I concentrate on that because the rest of it is just a rinse and repeat really of what we've done. Okay, so we're actually going to work a little bit in reverse this time round, just to be different. So we're going to go straight in with the dark sepia, but we're not going to go in too dark. Uh, so I'm going to pick out the darkest patches first and just block that in. Remember to block it in smaller than it actually is. I'm just very lightly going to block in all the sections. Bring that round one meets that so it should be looking roughly like this he's actually got more than normal normally they've only got three or four but he's he's got five He's got a little odd one there. He's got a dark one down here. And then he's got a few up here. And the reason you want to go light is we're going to be blending between the sepia and the dark, uh, no, the cup of Morton Violet. One, two, three. One, two, three. Odd one here. He's got tiny little ones down there two three and then that tends to sort of come across and turns into something larger so that's roughly what we're looking at so cap up Morton Violet and we're going to work on the little ones with the cap up Morton Violet and we're just going to do some tiny little pencil strokes in the direction I'm just going to go over what we've done but each time we're going to go slightly oversized so we're going to start going over the lines that we've drawn same up here so we're going to go over the size And what this helps is blend the colours in later on when we come to do the lighter sections. Like so. And while we've got it in our hand, just the odd one, just come up. Don't put too many, just do the odd one just to come up from those patches. So these are what we refer to as the ugly stages because they just look a bit crazy and a bit mad. Cold grey one. How are you getting on Gary? I know you're doing as the same time at the same time. Oh, 
Okay, cold grey one. We're just going to glaze over the whole lot. Do not worry about smudging or blending or making it look dirty at this stage. Just go in the direction that you've done the fur. Okay, so just go in the same direction because it's going to work to your advantage. Anything that smudges will be blended and it will be blended in the right direction. So it does some of the work for you. Okay, cold grey four. We're gonna come from underneath the nose, down. And we're pretty much going from 12 o'clock to six o'clock. I'm going to grab my dark, no, Payne's Grey, and I'm going to pull it up into the fur section so we get some of that loose fur happening over the mouth area, like we did on the other side. Thank you for my gifts, bless you, thank you. Okay, now judge your reference, we need to be a little bit darker. So I'm gonna go in with the dark sepia and underneath this nose section, I can come in a little bit darker. And again, we can pull out from the nose section. There was some cinnamon just here. So I'm gonna put that in now. And we can carry on coming out from that section. I'm going to swap back over to my cold grey fall. what we've done and we're going to go in between and all over just don't go too heavy with your pressure keep the pressure fairly light So it should be looking roughly like that. And then I'm going to come in with the white. And I'm going to blend over the whole thing really gently. Don't apply loads of pressure because you will smudge it and it will look muddy. I really do mean gently. mouth for me needs refining yours might not so I'm just going to go refine mine now okay so what we're now going to work on is building these up. So again, we're going to, I don't think I do want to use carpet mortimer actually. Let's go with 
thinking walnut. I'm going to try walnut, see how we get on. I'm just going to use a little, this is the motion I'm going to use. I am just going to use a little up and down motion like that. I don't think I need to go that heavy. No, scrap that. Don't start if you haven't started already, Gary. Um, use the raw umber and go over with the raw umber. And again, we're going to make them slightly larger. And we're going to go over each one that we've done already. Raw umber was definitely the better choice. Being quite rough again because it lends itself to fur detail without us having to put loads in. I know, I so want to boot the news. The news? Oh my god. Sorry I disappeared, my son and grandchildren called from Ireland. Hey, that's cool. You can disappear for that. Hope everyone's well. Okay. Just going to bring that colour out to that one. I'm going to bring that out a little bit more too. Right, now we can go in with dark indigo. I think we're going to start with dark indigo. Okay. You don't really need to do any dark indigo up in this section. Just this one here probably needs a little bit. And in fact, I am going to grab my white again and I'm going to blend over this section again. There we go. So each of the sections that need to be the darkest will start from the top. We're going to go in the middle, just stick to the middle. So you want to leave some of that orange around the edge. Okay. Again, stick to the middle. And just adjust the size as you see fit, but leave again some of the orange around the edge. And you just keep rinsing and repeating that process. And this is exactly what I mean by building from your lights to your darks. These are quite thin down here, so keep them quite small. Okay. Hopefully this sort of demonstrates the reason why we, or personally me, I do it in this way. I think it just gives me the most realistic effect. So I'm just going to go in with the raw umber. I'm just going to pull a few more, but rather than being rough, we're just going to do a few hair strands or fur strands. I'm going to need to go and shut the office door. So bear with me one moment. Okay. one cut in. I have no idea if the other cut is in. Okay. Right, I'm going to 
going to get my white and this one this section I'm going to just blend out a little bit more okay we've got 20 minutes Right, dark sepia. Just going to refine the shape a little bit more. It's a big whisker here, but I'm just going to do the whiskers afterwards. There's no point in me doing it now. Ordinarily, you would either, um, well, I would recommend actually that you um, use the indenting method. Uh, because most of his whiskers on the side of his face are white although some um, big cats like this one actually do uh, do have dark and then they go out to white um, but most of his like on his eyebrow and things are dark anyway so that's the reason why I thought we'd do it that way okay so what we now want to do is blend this section of the nose into this section of his mouth just going to refine this little bit down here we haven't finished that bit either let's finish that section so the first color I'm going to go in with is the cinnamon and then I'm going to go in with wherever it's gone dark sepia but we're going to go in fairly light pressure Again, I'm just refining what needs to be refined. A few more little hairs that come out. And then Caput Morton Violet. Like so. Right, cream, base layer, raw umber and we're going to come from the nose out so we're going from roughly half six out to half one and then we bring that round so we're going to round the clock from the outer edge of that nose so that's the direction you want to follow so as you work around you follow that direction Don't go too heavy in here because it's still fairly light in here. Turned off all invites, so it shouldn't do that again. OK. 
Okay. So we want to colour this a bit more neutral. So I would go with warm grey four. So that's warm grey four. Uh, that's six. Where's my warm grey four? You're three. No, you're four. Right, warm grey four. So warm grey four will give you the warmth that you need without going yellow. Okay. So we can again go in. Doing some smaller spot areas here as we build it up. Right, dark sepia. Don't do too many with the dark sepia. Keep it quite sporadic. Some long hairs that we can put in just here. And I would use the buff titanium to blend all that together. Still a little bit on the yellow side, so I think I am going to bring the walnut in at this stage. And we're just going to do a few with the walnut, and then that will warm it up a little bit more in the sense of matching it in with the other. feeling I'm just figuring this out right that's the light section there this is all the dark section in the eye so this needs to come down and meet this I'm going to draw that in like so which means we can actually be a lot darker coming up from this patch. Right, raw umber. I'm going to cut that over the whole thing. Can you still see okay on YouTube or is it getting a bit it's lighting it up a little bit for you uh, back to walnut direction of the fur changes if you look close enough Dark sepia. 
I'm only going to do this at the top and at the bottom. And a few tiny little spots of Payne's Grey. You can put a bit of pressure on because you'll need the colours to go down. Okay, so we should be roughly looking like that. Uh, dark indigo, where did you go? Right, dark indigo. Toss reading a comment then, can you tell I went outside the line? In fact, I need to get rid of that line anyway. I need to get rid of that line. So let's do that while we're at it. I'm only going to do that much and under here the dark indigo because as you come up into this section it turns into more of a Capit Morton Violet um, cinnamon colour so I've grabbed them cinnamon I'm just going to block that in so I know when it comes to it Okay, I'm going to put another layer of dark indigo just in here because that's where it's darkest. I'm going to just draw some tiny little fine hairs that meet down into this section. space in between paints gray dark indigo you can come up a little bit into this section which is his white brow paints grey I'm just swapping between paints grey and dark indigo at the moment don't be afraid to have a solid colour in this middle section either okay I'm going to grab my cold grey one and I'm just going to blend over what I've done here so it blends the two together a little bit more. While I have it in my hand, I'm going to fill that space. I never like to leave the page white so I would rather either use of titanium or the lightest of the greys. So working to get this section up, which is already starting to do, we're just going to go up a little bit more, the odd longer one into there. And I'm going to grab my cold grey four. And we're going to go up from that section in to the lighter section with the cold grey four. Just 
Let's do a few darker ones. And I'm going to use the Payne's Grey as it's the colder of them. And we're just going to do the odd one that's darker. Don't go too dark though, so don't press too heavy. And when that's done, I will blend over with white. Again, don't push too hard. Okay, how are we doing for time? We've got five minutes. Right, if that's the case, what I'll do is to show you how we're going to go into this light section. We'll do this little bit on the top of his head here. And then you can see how we're going to go into that light section. So we're going to go raw umber again and just fill that space. Still with the raw umber, we're just going to put some little pencil lines in. We're going to come into the white. I'll grab my walnut. Do the same. Don't come down too far in though, otherwise it makes the hair look too long. it sort of gives this soft fluffy fur effect on the inside without having to do much work it's a, just a, a much easier way of doing it um, I'm going to grab my cap at Morton Violet and you'll see that there's little dark sections just within his fur so I'm just going to pop some of them in with the cap at Morton Violet I'll just help darken that section without having to go too far in. And then I'm going to grab my dark sepia and we're just going to add, he's got a few little black spots here and there in that area. So we're just going to add those in. Quick blend with the buff titanium. Again, don't press hard when you're blending, just keep it light. And where we're going to stop it now. So if you do watch the YouTube live feed later this is roughly where we should be stopping so I'm going to zoom you out on YouTube so you can get a much better view of what he looks like and he's looking rather gorgeous I love his little nose um that that nose definitely needs a little boop boop got to have a little boop boop <laughs> um so let's give you a close-up on TikTok before I log off so Let's have a little bit of a close-up. So that's how messy it looks when you zoom straight into pencil work. And then when you, I'm just going to move the camera and then when you move it out, he looks beautiful and 3D. So I'm going to hang my phone back up for TikTok and I'm going to log off of YouTube now so don't go just yet if you are on TikTok um, I'm going to log off now on YouTube we'll be back again next week eight o'clock on the Wednesday and hopefully we'll get the ear section done I reckon it's going to be another three weeks worth of tutorial I think um, and if you've got any questions come find me in Facebook 
or ask them below in the uh, comments section but i'm more than happy to help if i can uh so to my youtube guys take care thank you very much for joining me and i shall see you in the next video bye